Okay, guys, hi, this is question three. Um, I thought this was also a fair question. I hope you've had a go. Um, probably, I think what might have tripped you, I imagine, was this bit here. First of all, it says Marcus is a sole trader. You remember for sole traders, we had just annual investment allowance for the length of their periods. So this is a 10 month period. Now, you might have just gone straight away and done 10 over 12 times 200,000. But this is, again, was a little, <laughs> it's a little strange. Um, but you just need to watch out. And I'm clicking on the tables here because it says here the 200,000 kicked in from the 1st of January 2016. This is a strange business. So they've gone back one extra year. I think just to, I don't think you'll have that um, again because we're so far into, this is 2018, that to be talking about anything prior to January 2016 is, is, is a bit odd. But anyway, you can see here that because, um, from because the two hundred thousand kicks in after the first of January, you still need to be thinking about the five hundred thousand post um, pre pre January two thousand and sixteen, and this business ran from the first of December two thousand and fifteen, if you like. So this business ran, um, this business ran from the just waiting for this to load. This business two thousand and fifteen to the 30th of September 2016. So we have a 10 month period where the first month, if you like, um, you would have received an allowance of 500. The first month you received an allowance of 500 and then in the next um, months you will be talking about sorry, one second, I just want to see what's here Right, so what are we saying? Right, oh. right. Second. Uh, let's just uh, reorganize this again. And let's just do this. That's all I wanted to do. Right. Okay. So what am I saying? So I'm saying that um, you have this nine, you have this ten month period. Is that um, one of the for one of the months you have one over twelve times five hundred thousand. And for nine of the months, you have nine over twelve times two thousand, and that's the composition of the AIA because the December two thousand and fifteen lives in the um, it still lives in the two thousand when 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 capital allowances were five hundred when AIA was five hundred thousand, but the rest of the months two thousand and sixteen live in the period when it was two hundred thousand. So that's how they've arrived at that. Um, at that, um, what's available. So if you do that, you should have um, 500 um, divided by 12. 500,000 divided by 12. And that's um, 41666.6. And here you have 9 divided by 12 times 200,000. Is 150,000 to together. You have two together, you have you have 191,666. So that's what there, that's what's available. Right? So it's just about looking at the table, always referring to the table. So but it's only by doing these questions you'll sort of pick this up, right? So don't I'm sure you're not don't allow it to, to worry you so much. Um, of what's going on there. Right, move on to the, um, the story of capital allowances. If you look at the question, I'm sure you're looking at it right now. I'm going to do each pay. I'm just, I'm just going to do workings. So you have to kind of go back to the table and practice putting it in the table. But it's the, the theory I'm going to look at. Let's look at the general pool. So we have a general pool, and we're told that in the general pool there is thirty-eight thousand nine hundred and sixty-five. So. Actually, what I also want to look at, actually, actually, I think what I want to look at, sorry, is the sales manager pool. Now, remember, the sales manager works for him, right? So there is no, the, the whole private issue is irrelevant. It's only relevant for Marcus. This is the key point here. Only relevant for Marcus. So the sales manager works for him. So that's fine. Everything can go through the company or through the business. It doesn't matter if the sole trader business. It doesn't matter. If it's the sole trader. The key point is that the sales manager will get on his um, personal tax the benefit um, allocated to him for having a car. 
for having a a, a a business car, if you like, or a, I just don't want to use the word company because it's not company. But the point is, he's still employed as sole traders can employ people. So you have that seventeen six five nine, and we're told that the car is disposed. So you dispose of the car as normal. If you look later on um, down there, you dispose of the car. And so I'm looking at the sales manager right now. So I'm looking at the theory. So you just have to make sure you you know how to put this in the table. So that's the sales the brought down figure. TW tax written down value um, brought down. So you have that. You then take off this um, disposal, and of course you have a balancing charge seventeen six five nine minus ten thousand five hundred. And this balancing charge of sorry, this balancing allowance of seven one five nine can go through if you like as a balancing. Right. So the argument here is that. Um, that this is what he's be able to get the car. Uh, he's basically the argument is he hasn't put through enough um, of a government allowed depreciation, or if you like. So we can now put through the rest, right? So that's kind of what's going on with that, with the um, with the sales manager's car. Now let's just quickly go back to um, let's look at the others. So let's look at the general pool. Um, <clears throat> Or well, it doesn't really matter. Let's look at Marcus's car. So Marcus buys a car for thirty-six thousand five hundred. Great, great. And it's yes, it's a lovely car because it's got a the um the it's an energy efficient car, and the, the energy efficiency here is um I think seventy-three percent. So this is less than seventy-five percent. So because you have that, because it's energy efficient, first year allowances apply, right? So all of it, yes goes but only 50 percent of it can go through because he uses it for himself of 80 percent so you have to take 50 percent only 50 percent of this will go through the others is the other 50 percent is gone no one cares so we will deduct 36,500 it no longer lives there it's gone but we will put through 50 percent as an allowable allowance because he has um because 50 percent of, of the car is used towards the towards the business Right, great. Then let's talk about the plant. Um, the plant is also energy efficient because it's energy efficient. It is also first year allowance. So here's the thing: all the energy efficient stuff, first year allowance, right? Energy, electric, first year allowance, one hundred percent. No written down, no timing, no 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 sort of apportioning of time. No saying, oh, is it twelve months? Is it eight months? Fifteen months? Always hundred percent. All gone. So I think that that was seventeen thousand. So that all of that goes, knock all of it out, give all that as capital allowance. Right. Now let's come to the um, the what's the word the um, the AIA. Now that you've worked out AIA, you know he's allowed one hundred and ninety one thousand six 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 or whatever. Let's look at the what he has um, for AIA. They tell you he buys some vans. Let me just go back to the question. I believe the yeah, here we are. The vans are seventeen thousand six hundred, and there's a plant for one hundred and thirty-one and fifty-nine. So literally, vans seventeen thousand six hundred, um, and then you have this one. This, if you like, will fall under AIA, and it'll literally just you literally just sort of put underneath the total and whack the total through whatever the total is. Whack that straight through to the. Um, the allowable capital allowances because all of it is less than 666. Let's just go back to the question. I think that kind of covers all the issues there. Oh, of course, sorry. And finally, let's talk about the disposal. Um, here we are. So this disposal, 23650 from the general um, pool. 23650. 23650. So you have a 23650. So you have a general pool right now of 38. Nine six five. So when you take this away, you remember that whatever you get here, it must. What? So let's just do it. Five one three five one. This is for the whole year, but you're, he's only had ten. You can only put through. So if you do eighteen percent, fine. But the eighteen percent is for for the whole year, one year. But he's only done ten months. So WDAs, AIAs for sole traders are all kind of um. Time apportioned, all time apportioned. So we have to time apportion the WDA as as well. So only eighteen percent 
sorry, only ten twelfths of this amount will go through to the next year. Cool, great stuff. And so I think I think you guys are quite happy with this. That's, that's good. But what I want you to do is just you need to practice putting it into the table to make sure you can see how the layout works. The layout is really important. You can see that all the FYAs, doesn't even matter if it's this car, as long as this FYA sits under FYA at the bottom, right at the bottom, doesn't it? AIA starts right at the top and you have the clean column, whoops, the clean column at the beginning to deal with that. Yes. Okay, great stuff. So that's that question. Please look at the answers, of course, but make sure you've done the question first. But this should sort of help out with any theory.